Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to design your YouTube channel banner, or YouTube channel art that works on any device using Filmora 9. I will use my channel banner as an example in this tutorial. Let's getting started now. My channel already had a banner, I can click on it directly to edit the banner. Select a photo on my computer to use as a banner. Being noticed that YouTube recommended size of your channel banner is 2560 by 1440 and maximum file size is 6 megabytes. By following this recommendation, your channel banner can work on different devices like mobile phone, TV or desktop. Before jumping into Filmora 9 to design this banner, Let's download YouTube recommended template for YouTube channel art at the customize page on your channel. Firstly click on this customize button. Then click this little pencil icon, select edit channel art if you already uploaded an image on your channel, or select add channel art if you haven't done it yet. Here you can see YouTube recommended file size I've just mentioned. Click this link. Scroll down the page a little bit, then select this link. Right click on this image and select save image as. Select a place where you can find it later easily. I will put it on my desktop. I can give it a name so that I can find it easily. Ok. Now I can go to Filmora 9 and start my designing work, which is very simple. Here's the design I've created with Filmora 9 on the timeline. I have one background image, my own photo and some text title on top of the background image. This is exactly the same banner I am currently using on my channel. Let's delete the timeline and start from scratch so that you can easily follow the steps. Firstly, I will go to my project settings and choose the resolution at 2560 by 1440 as recommended by YouTube. I am doing this because at the last step, I will take a screenshot to have my final YouTuber banner in PNG file. Here I have already did that. I just need to click OK to go back to my timeline. Secondly, I will drag the YouTube art template, which I have just saved on my computer, and drop it on a video track on the timeline. By doing this, I will know where I should put my text, my image and also know how my text display on different devices. If you put everything at this safe area, you will be able to create a banner like my channel banner, which is working fine on desktop, TV and mobile device. That's the basic theory of creating YouTube channel art. Now I will add some text title in this area. Firstly, I will go to the title tab. And select my favorite title template. The title template I used is in the title subfolder of Filmora 9.3 New Concept. I selected title number 12. It's my choice. You don't have to follow me, just be creative when selecting a template in Filmora. Now I can drag and drop this title on top of the background image track. We need to adjust the text and preset shape so that they will be inside this safe gray box. Firstly, I need to change the text to my channel name. And select my favorite font Bibaznoia. I will go to Filmora Advanced Text Editor to align the text and add text border for my text. Let's increase the space between character and my channel name. I think 15 will work for me. Hold your mouse click on this little green icon to rotate the text, and the preset too. I will move them a little bit higher to have space for my channel slogan. Remember not to pass the safe box line. I will use this text as my channel slogan. I will also customize it to have the same look with my channel name text.
Let's type the slogan for my channel. And change the font, character space and so on. I will also add black text border to both my channel name and slogan. Honestly speaking, I am not a good designer. You may not follow me when it comes to designing text, templates etc. Just follow my tutorial and create your own design, in your own style. Alright, let's go back to the timeline. I will add my photo to this area which will be displayed when you view your channel on desktop, or laptop. It will not be displayed when you view by mobile phone. Here is my photo I want to use, I can drag and drop it on the top track so that my photo will be seen. I also grab the edge of the photo on the preview window to resize my photo and adjust the position of it to where I want to locate it. The photo looks fine now. By the way, I want to add a border for my photo so that it will not look so flat on the background image. To do that, click on the Effect tab. Select Altility. Then drag and drop this border effect directly on the photo. Double click on the photo to control the border effect. Let's make the border a little bit bigger. Ok, now we need to add another text on this area. This time I will select Film or Default Text Title. I also drop it on the top track, and customize the font, size and change the text content to follow me. I can fast forward my customize work as it's very similar to customizing my channel name. After finished. I can move the text to this area on the right. The last thing I want to add on my YouTube channel art is an arrow where I want my audience to follow me on my other social platforms. In Filmora 9, I will go to the Element tab. Select Tutorial folder and find the arrow I like to use. I will also drop it on the top track, resize it as well as changing the position of the arrow. Ok. So we almost finished the work. The last step is to add a background image for your channel. This background image will be displayed in full size when you watch on TV device. On mobile phone and desktop viewer can see only a part of it. Firstly, I need to move this YouTube template image down one track. Then go back to the media library and drop the background image I want to use above it. Now we have a full-size YouTube channel art designed in Filmora 9. All we need to do is to use Filmora 9 snapshot tool to take a screenshot and find the image on your computer, uploading to YouTube and use it as your banner. That's the end of my today's tutorial. I hope you like it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video like this. If you have any question about Filmora, leave your comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.